Many of the RockWorks programs plot three-dimensional diagrams by using the built-in RockPlot 3D program. Examples include draped air photos, log axes, roads, property boundaries, storage tanks, lithology logs, lithology sections, lithology models, stratigraphy logs, stratigraphy sections, stratigraphy models, contaminant logs, contaminant models, ore logs, ore models, geophysical models, fracture logs, fracture models, buried tanks, mine level maps, leaching networks, haulage tunnels, perimeter cages, legends, and so on. Eventually, you're going to want to combine some of these different diagrams, and that's what this video is all about. Let's start with a diagram depicting gamma and resistivity logs. Rename the group title from logs to gamma and resistivity logs. A good naming strategy will pay off later on when we start combining things. Now, use the File Save option to save this diagram as gamma and resistivity logs. Next, create a diagram depicting lithology logs. Rename the logs to lithology logs. Now comes the important part, so pay attention. Select the File Append option. Locate and select the Gamma and Resistivity Logs file that you previously created. After a few seconds, you will see a diagram that depicts both the resistivity, gamma, and lithology logs. At this point, you may ask why we're going through all this when it's just a single step within the 3D strip log designer. The answer lies with the flexibility that this approach provides to the composite diagram user, meaning you. Specifically, we can easily render items visible and invisible just by checking the corresponding boxes within the data tree. Watch as the e-logs and lithology logs are toggled on and off. This may not seem like such a big deal for this simple example, but consider a scenario in which you're combining lots of data sets as shown here. The advantage of turning things on and off should become immediately apparent. Now let's talk about clutter. Rockplot 3D includes a simple folder creation tool that allows the user to organize their graphical objects into logical groups. By organizing your information into categories, it becomes much easier to quickly find and enable or disable items during a presentation. Organizing your data is also worth the effort if you plan on giving your Rockplot 3D files to coworkers, management, or clients. Thanks for watching.